You crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So if I'm going to do this one, I'm actually going to go back to substitution, which in this playlist I didn't do until the exact first, uh, first problem I did. So all right, so there's a couple things going on here. Um, and I'm actually going to break this up. Let's, let's simplify each one of these. First of all, this first equation, this is just ridiculous. I need to get rid of these fractions. I don't want to be divided by 4. I don't want to be divided by 3. So to eliminate them, to eliminate these denominators, I need to multiply by the least common denominator, or the least common multiple of each one of my denominators. I'll call it the least common multiple between 4 and 3. And you, know, you could say this is a fraction as well of 1. But the least common multiple between 4, 3, and 1 is going to equal 12. All right, so I can eliminate these if I multiply this whole equation by 12. Now, by doing that, 12 divided by 4 leaves me with 3. So I'm going to multiply 3 times x plus 3. 12 divided by 3 leaves me with 4, right? So now I'm going to have 4 times y minus 1. And then 12 times 1 is not going to divide out anything, so I'll be left with 12. Now, for this equation, I like that my y is, being, is only being multiplied, has a coefficient of negative 1. That means I'm probably going to want to use uh, a, our substitution. So what I'll do with this one is I'll actually solve for y. So I get uh, y equals 2x equals uh, 12 plus y. Subtract the 12, and I get y equals 2x minus 12. All right, so now let's go ahead and kind of simplify this. So I had. 3 times x plus 3 plus 4 times y minus 1 equals 12. Right? I just kind of rewrote it in a little bit uh, nicer uh, format. So I need to apply distributive property here. I can combine my like terms. So I have 3x plus 4y. Uh, plus 5 equals 12, subtract the 5, subtract the 5, I get 3x plus 4y equals 7. All right, so now I have this equation and I have this equation, right? So all I did was I simplified this here and then I convert, solve this over here to this. So now I have this system of equations. So here's my two system of equations, and I said I was going to use substitution. That means now that I have y isolated, I'm going to plug in the value of y in for the value of y in this equation. So therefore, I obtain 3 times x plus 4 times 2x minus 12 equals 7. Now I apply distributive property again, and I get 3x plus 8x minus 24, so it would be 48 equals 7. Well, 8x plus 3x is going to be 11x. Neg um, add 48. That's going to equal 55. Divide by 11, divide by 11, x equals 5. So now I know the value of x. I plug in that value of x back into this equation to solve for the value of y. So y equals 2 times 5 minus 12. 2 times 5 is 10. Minus 12, 10 minus 12 is negative 2. Y equals negative 2. Therefore, the solution to this system of equations is when a, is x equals 5 and y equals 2. If they were going to be a graph, then we'd see the intersection point of that would be 5 comma negative 2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a system of equations when it looks something crazy like that. Thanks.